All right, Mr. Fogelson here. Welcome to Game Frame video number six. We're making some progress. All right, uh, practice what you preach, practice what you teach. All right, keep in mind that we are moving on from the last video. I just want to give you a heads up of where we were and where we are going. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that SD uh, micro adapter um, with the micro disc from the Game Frame in it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see that there are two folders on the SD card. Um, uh, adapter. So with the micro, uh, we've got the double system, double O system folder, which remember we keep that. We want to keep that in a safe place. We never want to delete that one. That is the foundation of the game frame program set. Um, then I made this folder here, Kevin underscore uh, FOG. Remember Kevin Fogelson, um, otherwise known as Mr. Fogelson. <laughs> um, keep that in mind that we want to keep this small, otherwise it gets buggy, right? So I'm going to go with my first name, underscore, three letters of my last name. If you make it larger, it might, you know, it won't show up. It gets really buggy and it bugs me. So I don't know, it's a glitch I figured out. Just keep that in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this folder to the desktop here. So that way it copies it. So I have it in both. Very kind of nice in regards to there's nothing in this folder, but back when we drag it in there, we'll just replace it. Um, all right. Next thing we are going to do is open that Pixel Toolbox that we hopefully we downloaded at this point. Um, if you're on a Mac, maybe Pixlr. Um, there's some other applications that you could try. Um, but it's really important to get this uh, Pixel Toolbox open, so I'm just going to go ahead and double click on that Rainbow Cube. Uh, notice how it is in a color pattern. That's cool. That's fine. Um, make sure you ch uh, hit the X. Uh, and click on that and X that box, 16 by 16, all right, for the uh, 256 uh, boxes like the uh, actual game frame has. So 16 by 16, length times width. Um, then also make sure that you are in this color palette, uh, Windows 8-bit. We will change it to 24-bit, so it works on the game frame, just a heads up. But this is going to work for now. Uh, 256 colors, kind of like a GIF, but it saves in Pixel Toolbox as a bitmap, which is perfect for the game frame. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click Start. It opens up that grid. Very nice. I grabbed some reference pictures while uh, on my own time. Well, outside of these videos, feel free to grab some from Google. Really kind of nice uh, reference pictures. Make sure you do a safe search if you are at school. Heads up on that um, in the advanced settings. Um, whoops, I accidentally hit the Pixel Toolbox little uh, uh, picture here that gave me some uh, information about that, which I don't need right now. Um, if there's just a heads up, you can import stuff. I'm going to click Import. Um, and then I'm going to go to my desktop here where my um, reference folder is saved and I'm just going to double click and I have some reference pictures there. You'll notice they're up here. Um, very nice. And you'll notice if it's pixelated, it's like, oh yeah, it's like right away, you know, I could work from that. But keep in mind, um, if you want to like, you know, drive creativity, uh, have them start from the beginning. If they're really having a hard time, you know, they don't have to reinvent the wheel. They can import something and make it their own, just as long as they're going through and making it their own, okay? So I just clicked on a different tool to get rid of those dancing ants, or you could just click on the um, dancing ants marquee square selection tool. So that gets rid of those dancing ants. Those dancing ants are kind of, they're good for like moving stuff. That's really what they're good for. But keep in mind, that you can import, and if I import another image, and let's say it's less pixelated, it doesn't come out as um, interesting. It also keeps the other um, file in there too. So I'm just going to go to the dancing ants. Let's go ahead and select it all, and then I'm just going to hit delete, and then I'm going to hit import, and I'm just going to import this really kind of clear realistic image, and it doesn't come up clear and realistic. It comes up kind of pixelated. I'm just going to hit delete. Um, so this would be more for like a reference picture. Maybe you want to keep kind of next to it while you're working on your Pixel Toolbox. Um, and so um, it's kind of like you can look back and forth. Now we have the dancing ants. It's really important. Maybe click on those dancing ants to go to select a pencil or some other tool that will help you make some cool stuff. So this is the box tool. It's a actually they call it the rectangle tool. You'll see at the bottom here. It'll show you what each tool is. Kind of nice and shows you some shortcuts as well. If I go to the box tool and select a color, like my favorite color, like blue, I could just go ahead and select a box, and you'll notice that it doesn't fill it in, which is okay right now. Um, and then I can do like a nice little circle, which is kind of nice because some people have a hard time making circles on a pixel uh, square-based design, okay? So really kind of nice, um, some nice little tools. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe go to uh, fill in this cool checker pattern with that. And then with this one, I'm going to go with a solid color just to show you that we can do some solid colors with these uh, buckets. Really kind of nice. So I have some really cool designs that I've worked with really well uh, in Pixel Toolbox. I will show you my second tutorial on Pixel Toolbox as well. Um, these reference picks were used, um, some of them to help.